hello guys welcome to b media in this video we're going to be creating a logo design so um the first thing is to choose the background that we want to use and normally i'll, I'll choose something bright nice for this logo design that i want to back um that i'm about to design right now i want to choose a bright color something that is bright so i'll be able to see what's on that so um go to my grid click on the grid then come to edit grid then make it 40 by 40. then click on this icon and activate the grid lines so um, the first thing to do is to click on your uh, on the middle icon here and bring out shape. Take radius to 100%, reduce opacity, and make sure the thickness is six. Um, yeah, yeah, this thickness should be six, but in terms of this, we're gonna make it 11. So um, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Perfect. Bring it here. Take it down. Then take it up. Make sure it enters in there. Then mark. Then lock. Then the second thing to do is to bring out a circle. So select a circle. Take opacity down. Then make sure that the distance between the edge of the circle and the and the edge of the first um shape we create um we created is one is one okay just one one box away then take the edge such that the edge matches with the edge here then make sure that the diameter is is 11 so let's count also so let's make the diameter 11 as well so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven hope that's correct also counts from here also so one two nice four five six seven eight nine ten eleven perfect click then go to lock and then pull out an another circle take opacity down this time we want to make sure that this is stacked exactly at the middle of this circle perfect if you watch this edge is exactly at the middle of the circle so stack it there then we want to make sure that the the diameter here is 17 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 perfect and also we want to make sure that the the, the the thickness is also 17 here also so let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen perfect make sure it's it is at um at the middle of this circle here so click and lock perfect so let's see that all right so let's cut the edge here so let's bring out another shape make it black we want to cut it exactly at this edge here at the edge of the circle here let me make that visible a bit so let, me, let, me, let, me, let me go to the last circle that i created go to edit make it a bit visible so you see what i'm doing right there so i pull out the shape make it black make sure it's at the edge of this circle so it cuts across this line here and also cuts perfect then pull out another shape black bring it here make sure it's at the middle of this shape here let me bring it out a bit let me make so i'll be able to get all the ratios so make sure it's at the middle here of course this should be the middle of this shape this shape right here here should be the middle let me bring it as well as see it's exactly at the middle so it's since it's at the middle if you notice it since the since the width from here to here is 11 that means from here to here should be six all right so um let's take this down slide so cuts perfect mark make sure everything is locked then the next thing to do is to um, bring in uh, another shape 
black also take it down this time you want to make sure that it is you know it cuts this circle here into half perfect that is half of the circle actually perfect lock let's see what's the, what, what, what that looks like perfect so let's make this invisible a bit then you pull out another circle click on that circle make it black now we want the width to be seven that means the diameter so one two three four five six seven also the diameter here so one two three four five six seven then position it at the middle of this bigger circle make sure it's at the middle that's messed up count again one two three four five six seven yeah make sure it's at the middle of this circle perfect and the last thing i'm going to do right now is i'm bring out another shape make it black and make sure it cuts the bigger circle into half yeah that is the yeah that's the middle so make sure it cuts that into half perfect let's take out the grid line so let's lock this and make this visible or let's make this invisible and let's start adding up the shapes before that i think we should do something again um let's bring out another shape and um, let's activate the grid line this time um, we want to make it closer to this edge here and also to this edge here and make sure this edge here touches the edge of this circle and bring it to the middle of that circle look at it is actually at the middle like it cuts if it was to cut the circle it will cut it into, into two so make sure it's exactly at this point here the reason is that we we, we want to make that make sure that the thickness of everything that means the the mean thickness is just two um, um six grids okay six grid lines just to maintain a particular ratio so that your logo look you know nice you know it, it, it has a specific ratio so nice so let's click on that go back now time to add up shapes so the first thing i'm going to do is to go to this last one here click on it come to edit you can now increase the opacity perfect then add this shape yeah to this shape then to this shape then merge come to erase color and click on this one take it down to black perfect and the next thing is to come to this um circle the smaller circle here i think this should be the smaller circle i guess yeah that's it so we come to edit increase opacity to 100 perfect then select this select this add then take opacity um go to erase color rather and erase the black color perfect the next thing is to increase the opacity of this other circle here's it here's it so come to erase sorry come to edit increase opacity then add the shape before that um i think we are perfect so add um add this shape to this and to this perfect then add or match rather then go to erase color erase the black color perfect then add up and match yeah we have our logo and go to color now I want to change the color of the background to this color and the color of the logo 
go to color then click on this perfect then um, you can position it at the middle and we're done alright guys if you haven't subscribed to this channel hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and um, you can check out the channel and watch previous tutorials on um, designs and you know video editing video animations alright guys see you in the next video